Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything. Channel I Try Anything, so you don't have to. What we're going to have a look at today is a unisex watch, and it's a unisex watch from the Casio range of Casio Sport watches. Now, this one being predominantly, it's it's aimed at runners, this or joggers. And what we're going to do is just go through the watch, talk about the design of it. Uh, we're going to have a look at some of the features of the watch, and obviously what the um, what it can do but we won't go too in depth for the, the the main reason being i've left instructions or a link to the instructions for this watch below and also um you know you can see how this watch operates on other kind of youtube videos as well so this is just more of a kind of me talking about the watch see what i thought and uh, whether it's something that's worth wearing as uh, worth wearing owning and buying or <laughs> not maybe not in that order so first of all, as I say, it is a um, Casio Sport range, and being at unisex, obviously it's aimed at men and women of all ages and sizes, as it were. Now this one is a slightly different one to one I normally feature on the channel, where the band here is made up of a um, of a kind of a, a fabric, really, with a Velcro um, kind of clasp to it. And it's got a kind of a plastic buckle here. So it's a it's a slightly different watch. And I would imagine this is mainly for the reason being that if people are sweating and stuff like that, um, then this will obviously absorb and wick away any kind of sweat um, and make it easier to put on and take off, really, without having that sweaty kind of residue feeling that you do get from other watches. Um, now, the watch, it is, um, other than talking about the actual band, being, as I said, fabric with a Velcro kind of stopover. But what I'll do, I'll show you me wearing it later on so you can see me putting it on. Um, this one here is a kind of a plastic case to it, which measures 36 millimeters across. And it also has a case height of 30, um, sorry, 13 millimeters, which it isn't a big watch by any stretch of the imagination compared to some of the other ones I've featured, which have gone up to 55 mil in the, the width and they do dominate your wrist. But this one here is, it's a, it is what would be classed as a small watch. Now, as I said, it is unisex, so it is aimed at men and women, but I do believe that this is probably more of a, a ladies watch because it is a bit more um, kind of, it is smaller on my wrist, if anything, and it is a watch that I probably would that believe, not being sexist or anything, that a lady would probably prefer. So anyhow, just going through, as I've been through the actual case width and thickness, it weighs a very light 34 grams. And as you can see here, it has, a, as I mentioned, like a plastic case to it, which you can hear me tap there. And also, the it, it's the usual resin glass affair. So again, you know, I'd say glass, I mean, it's got a resin, you know, face to it, really. Um, so obviously, you just got to bear in mind that this probably would scratch, even though, uh, if it will focus, even though it doesn't doesn't show any form of scratching on here but this would scratch now it, it also um benefits from um casio's 10-year battery life which is great for these watches and obviously that would deplete quite quickly depending on how much you use that light function and obviously the functions of the watch but it does you know it does have a 10-year battery and also it's got a japanese movement to the quartz which has a accuracy of plus or minus 15 seconds per month it is also resistant to 50 meters and it has a pressure of five bars and um, you know this watch is something that as I say is aimed at joggers now looking around the watch as I say it's not a bad wood looking watch in fairness um, looking at the actual display you get your two your two pushes here you got a pusher there and also you've got a pusher there and a pusher there so you've got a few buttons that you can press even though I do find myself trying to press this for some unknown reason even though it's got no form of um, it's got no no function or anything or there's not even a pusher there you do find yourself trying to press this but the actual pushes you got to remember are top and bottom as well as left bottom left and bottom right um looking at the actual uh, dial or the watch face it is quite a nice watch face really and you know i would say that's on par but you know slightly bigger than the f91w in terms of kind of display even though it is a small watch um it features the actual date uh with it's got 24 hours so I've got it on the 12 hour setting, so it's obviously 3.57 p.m. Um, it's on a, it's got a day, and it's also got the month that we're in, being it August, and the day in the month, with being it the 3rd of August. So it is quite an easy watch to kind of get information off. It's not that hard to understand or anything like that. Where I find the actual um, 
complexity of the watch is with the kind of the features that this watch has now that brings me on to the modes that this watch has and the modes that it has is obviously you've got your timekeeping mode here um, you've also got your uh, what would be the stopwatch now this stopwatch from what I've read um, has a um, 19 different lap times or kind of recordings that it does and it also features two modes now one being a stopwatch mode which you would know in the normal terms being you know the usual lap and split times and stuff like that and also you have what's known as a uh, sorry a pacer mode which allows you to do um obviously i'm on the recall mode here which will allow you to go through and select different things and stuff like that but you know you can do what's known as um pacer mode where you can set the watch up with the actual stride um of your, your legs as it were in my case being very small because being very short and also what it will do then do it'll kind of keep a pace with you while you're jogging so an alarm will beep every so often to make sure that you're keeping in time with what the watch believes or what you believe you've set your watch to do so it's a nice function if you want to keep as it were your momentum of your jogging going so obviously you don't kind of slow down or speed up you do keep your pace hence the actual pace now obviously i'm not going to show it here because it's a bit too complicated and i'll be honest with you it was just something i could never kind of get right properly first time so just for the you know the kind of bearings of this review it is um just something that this watch does it does kind of set an alarm or sound alarm every so often just so you can keep in time or you keep keep up the pace of your jogging but as i say it's got the normal stopwatch features which you use this for the top button here we'll kick that off obviously this is number one i'm guessing refers to number one recall or the number one uh, recording of the time that you've got here and obviously that's it and then you can split the times and stuff like that and i believe i believe if i can There you go and i can clear it like that so as i say it's quite easy to set up you know you could well it's quite easy to set the alarm uh, stopwatch off and you know start start it and clear it and stuff like that but it does kind of record your your kind of times and stuff like that if you want it to the next one obviously as i say is your recording so you can go up and down again i'm pressing this for some unknown reason you can go up and down so as you see you can see it's recorded 11 seconds and 57 milliseconds um, you know my personal best or my best kind of time as it were so you can it will record what you do on your stopwatch as well as your pace pace time but again if i'm not if i'm getting this wrong then please say and i'll correct you know correct me if i'm wrong and also you do obviously that's that refers to stopwatch and that is obviously the time it's the current time at the minute so you do have that little feature where it's kind of kept just underneath there so you know the time and stuff like that when you're out on your run as I say, this is the recall mode. So it stores records generated by the stopwatch, stopwatch and pacer mode. So, you know, if you can keep all your times and stuff like that, which you can set, which you can go up and down with. So, you know, you can choose that and then start, stop, select, and you can see the timings there. This one here is your countdown timer in which um, you can count down from 100 hours now obviously this is on three hours and 30 so i've just left it off at that and again you still keeps your time there your current as it were your normal time underneath so you can always tell the time and what's going on what you're doing this one here is your alarm now obviously the alarm on this one you do have five daily alarms which you can sound every every day you can sound one time per day um but you can also set an hourly time signal so it also beeps every hour on the hour which you you would see by two little icons that sit here with the alarm and also it's got a snooze function as well that you can set so you know it is it's got a few more features than your normal watch for the for this actual size um it's also got a um a time where what you can you can do you can set it so you you can represent a different time zone here or a different time or local time as it was so if you was in a different part of the world so say new york or something which has got um it's going to be x amount of hours i believe it's behind and um, you can set that amount of hours um behind by just doing you know the usual adjust and stuff like that where you can change your time zones and stuff like this for example if you as i said if you was in new york you could set this five hours behind it and then just you know keep that as your main time knowing that you know your lo your main time when you go back to say the, the likes of london and stuff like that 
will be featured below. So if you're in New York and you know the people that you're speaking to in London, you know that time is well. And then finally, you've got the main timekeeping um, watch face, which again, you know, it's it's a very simplistic watch face to look at, and it's really nice as well. So you know, it's it's a nice looking watch this, but it is small. So um, as I say, I I pop the instructions below. So if you want to have a look at how complex it is to do the stopwatch and recall and pace modes and stuff like that, it doesn't seem so complex. But as I said for this re review, I didn't really want to go in too depth. In what you can do with this watch but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pop it on my arm and kind of just say what it's like to wear and own now as usual before i forget um sorry you can see my activity for today and um, that's it in size compared to the apple watch now the apple watch is a 42 millimeter wide case and you can see series there uh, kind of listening out for me as it were um, i'll just take that off um but um, it is, as I say, this watch is quite a small watch on the wrist. So um, if what I'll do, I'll just quickly show you. But I just thought I'd show you the Apple Watch comparison to this, compared to this, just to give you an idea of how small or how big this watch is. What I'll do, I'll just pop it on my wrist. So what I've done, I've kind of just gone through and adjusted the loop here, which is obviously done by this. And you can pull this uh, or pull that underneath just to give yourself a bit more slack or less than the slack on the uh sorry the fabric strap and to put it on it is pretty pretty simple i'm just going to make sure i can do it on camera so you just put it like so put that under this space in the uh buckle and that's it it's as easy as that so as you can imagine you know you can tighten it and stuff like that but with it being velcro obviously it's very easy to get on and off and as you can see, I mean, it is it is a small watch in comparison to some of the other watches that I've got on the channel and hat got in my collection. And as you can imagine, as I say, it is a it is a very lightweight watch. You don't you don't really feel like you're wearing it um, compared to I mean this in comparison. You will you do feel a little, this a little bit more, even though this has got a silicon strap compared to this and that's only I would imagine due to the size and the weight of this I mean this is a bit more of a bulkier watch um in terms of just quickly seeing the time it's very easy to glean the time off it just quickly looking at it through the camera and also the one thing I haven't mentioned is the light now the light on this doesn't seem to work because I've managed to acquire this off eBay and you can get a different model of this um same watch but obviously it comes with a kind of a, a resin strap as opposed to a fabric strap and i believe this is black and silver and the lights you can set it so it's an automatic light so every, like the apple watch whenever you flick it up to your face or your wrist and um, with this one you can flick it and the actual uh, light will illuminate and i think it's like a 40 degree sort of angle and you know it will come on every time you want to have a look at it which is a nice feature but you just got to remember it will um hammer that battery really so now, in terms of how this watch has been, um, I only use it, I don't use it for jogging or anything like that. I don't use it for any kind of sport or recording any time. So the functions are a bit lost on me, I'll be honest with you. But for someone that's probably a bit more sporty or, a, sorry, a bit more into their jogging and running, then this might have some kind of benefit. I mean, obviously, you know, if I'm uh, very much into my jogging or if I was into more kind of, uh, not so much fitness, but any kind of, road running or anything like that i would probably get a apple watch in fairness and probably give this a miss but if you're looking for something cheap and cheerful that you don't need to um kind of worry about like all casios worry about it getting damaged or anything like that then this might be worth a consideration and as i say i've left the instructions below just so you can see how complex it is to use because some people might just get so used to it then you know it's become second nature but then there is a few people i've read the reviews on this one where they've said you know they find it a bit too difficult to you know use the stopwatch and the timers and stuff like that that they've just kind of given up on it so again you know each to their own really but for just a watch just for me just to glean the time off or anything yeah it's a good watch i mean i just find it a little bit too small for my liking i quite i like a, a slightly bigger watch like the apple watch being 42 you know around the 42 to 47 mark that's my kind of preferred um sort of watch on my wrist and with this one being 38 i just it just feels a little bit too not not childlike but it's just not my kind of size of watch so you know i, I don't want to discount the watch because it is a you know i'm sure it's a with all its kind of timing and recall and pacer kind of modes then you know it'd be something that someone else might find of interest but you know as i say would i consider that if i was into jogging and stuff then 
possibly. Um, but I've got the Apple Watch, so to me, this would probably be discounted. But as I say, if you, and I, I, I'm terrible for repeating myself, but as I say, this watch will probably be ideal for someone who is a bit more, um, you know, it's, it's a it's a bit more of an item which they don't mind getting damaged and stuff like that whilst out running. And plus with that 50 meters water resistant, you know, if you're running out in the rain and stuff like that, then, you know, this it's worth considering. So I hope you like the review, and if you did, then please give it the thumbs up. Um, and obviously, if you want to see any more reviews coming to the channel, which I believe there's a, a Pebble watch coming soon, and also then I'm going to be reviewing other things other than watches. But, you know, if you like the video, then as I said, give it a thumbs up. If you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, then please sub click on the old subscription below. It always helps the channel grow. And thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.